Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol OPGN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then helps in this situation makes mapping out a logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a good solid move. Sure, the price did pull back here a little bit, but from where the price closed today relative to where it was yesterday, I think everybody would agree, good solid move. But that does bring up the question, which is very logical, is there any sort of true power behind this move? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of dead cat bounce, you know, knee jerk reaction? I have no idea, but the good news is, like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single level. And that level is down here at the dollar twenty-five mark. Why is the dollar twenty-five so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement with true power is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about $1.25. Any sort of closes blow it or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's putting the price right back to within this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down here. Heck, you'd have that set of lows down there. So if you picture each one of those as stair steps, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's what truly strong do, moves do, right? They make progress in the upwards direction. So to me, $1.25, very important level of support going into the remainder of the week. Ideal area, I mean, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? If the price can stay up above the $1.40 mark, uh, you know, that would be the best case scenario. But if the price does drop below it, by no means am I saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. What about levels of resistance? The big one that really stands out to me is right up here around the $1.57. I say around because you look, all right, so right here, price went slightly above it. Here, the price went slightly below it. Right here, you know, hit directly on it. So I'm just splitting the difference. I mean, if you want to call it a $1.58 or $1.59 or $1.56, I mean, right up around this area though, the point being there's quite a bit of pr uh, price congestion. So $1.57 gonna be that initial area of resistance uh, you know, going into tomorrow. But all in all, no doubt about it, very nice day today. So it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can build upon this momentum going forward. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that can add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.